Resistor 1 is in series with resistor 2. Resistor 3 and resistor 4 are each in parallel with resistor combination 1, 2. Resistor 5 is in series with resistor combination 1, 2, 3, and 4. Resistor 6 and resistor 7 are in series and together are in parallel with resistor combination 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Resistor 8 is in series with the other seven resistors. All of these are placed in a circuit with a battery. All the resistors are identical and have a resistance of 2.00 class ohms. And this, the terminal voltage is equal to 24 volts. The, the voltage, the potential, electric potential difference across the terminals of the battery is 24 volts. Part A. Draw the circuit diagram and label each resistor. Part B, <coughs> determine the equivalent resistance of the entire resistor combination. And part C, determine the rate at which energy is being converted into internal energy in resistor one. There is a lot to this problem. So we're gonna go through step by step. The first thing is to translate all of those words that are written into a circuit diagram. I am not going to do this. You are going to do this. For example, Hunter is going to take the dry erase marker. He's going to go to the board, and he's going to stand on the left side of the board. And in the upper left-hand corner of the board, he is going to do step one. We're just going to walk our way through this. He is going to do the first one. Resistor one is in series with resistor two. Please draw resistor one in series with resistor two. The upper left-hand corner, we're going to need the entire board, so please start in the upper left-hand corner. That's not the upper left corner. That's right. Up, up. There you go. That's better. Class, we now vote. We do something like this, something like this, or something like this. Give it. Give it. If this is voting, you are compelled to vote, George. Okay. I would agree. We have. Resistor 1 and resistor 2 are in series. Next, Julian. We have resistor 3 and resistor 4 are each in parallel with resistor combination 1, 2. And I'll just point out, if we continue having our resistors of such magnitude, we will not have enough space on the board. So you might want to decrease the size of the resistor. Can you label it for me? Yeah, you, you need to darken those so we can see the lines. Okay. All right, so let's do this. So I just to make sure we have, I want to make sure we connect these. So we've got this right here. We're connected all the way to here. And then there. Okay. Class, we vote. That's okay, Ian. This is fine. I mean, if you don't know, that's fine. Julia, I'm sorry. This is not correct. That's okay. We learn. That's what we do here. Thank you. Who can tell me what this is? Because this is not resistor 3 and 4 are each in parallel with resistor combination 1, 2. Got it. Resistor 3 and 4 together are in parallel with resistor 1 and 2. And resistor 3 and 4 are in class? Series. So what we have here is resistor 3 and 4 are in series with one another, and that equivalent resistor 3, 4 is then in parallel with equivalent resistor 1, 2. That's not what it says up there. We need resistor 3 and 4 are each parallel with resistors, with equivalent resistor 1, 2. Great. Congratulations. You get the mark. Remember, what we're trying to do here is resistor 3 and resistor 4 are each in parallel with resistor combination 1, 2.
We vote. We think. Yeah, unfortunately, that's okay. Crittman is voting himself down. Okay. So this is not resistor three and four are each in parallel with resistor combination one, two. What is this, Mr. Locker Boys? Um, R1 is in uh, R3 and R2 is in parallel with R4. We have three and one are in parallel, four and two are in parallel, and then technically, the equivalent of resistor one, three is in series with the equivalent of resistor two, four. Slowly but surely, we get closer, I think. I'm hoping. We come back to we have resistors one and two are in series. We need to add resistor three and resistor four, which are both in parallel with equivalent resistor combination one, two. Mr. Lockman Boyd, good one and two. Okay. This is, we have resistor three and four, and equivalent resistor one, two are all in parallel. I'm going to reduce the size of our resistors because we're gonna encompass the whole board here. This is not gonna work. We need more space. So let me just reduce the size of the resistors a little bit so that we can have something that we can work with. So we have resistor three and resistor four. So resistor three, resistor four. We now have, Mara, Resistor, let's see, resistor five is in, is in series with, it, with resistor combination one, two, three, and four. <laughs> Good job. We have resistor five is in series with the other four equivalent resistors. We now have Kaiser. Resistors six and seven are in series, and together they are in parallel with resistor combination one, two, three, four, and five. So six and seven are in series, and then they, those two are together in parallel with resistor combination one, two, three, four, and five. Six and seven are in series, and then together they're in parallel with one, two, three, four, five. Try. It's. A, I mean, we're learning here. That's fine. That's, I don't really care for. I'm just trying to think of what to draw. So start with just resistor six and seven are in series. Just start there. Class, I'm going to do this because he's half right. Agree? Okay. So which half did he get right for? They're both in series. R six and seven. R six and R seven are in series, but then they are in blank with the other five resistors. In series, not what he's drawn here, they're supposed to be in parallel. So the way you've drawn them, it's in series. That's okay. So we need, we got six and seven in series with one another, but then we also need them in parallel with the equivalent resistor one, two, three, four, <coughs> five. Chuck. Resistors six and seven are in series, uh, and then they are together in parallel with the other equivalent resistors. And what was your issue? 
Oh, I thought it had to take us like the very beginning. Okay, so the, like you're saying where this one would be attached? Yeah. Okay, this could actually be attached anywhere over here. We could attach it here, for example. We could attach it all the way up here. It doesn't matter as long as it's to the left of all of these resistors. Okay. So we'll just put it back where he had it, which is fine. So we now have our next step. Please, show me. You're going to get to do the next two because they go well together. So we're adding uh, resistor 8 is in series with the other seven resistors. And all of these are placed in the circuit with a battery. Do you have to go up there? Not battery? I, this, is, this is up to you. Delta VT, please. Great. Hold up. Class. All right, thank you. So, we have resistor 8, which is in series with the other 7, and then you had a question, where do I attach the battery, right? You were curious, do I need to go all the way up here? Again, you could have attached the battery here, anywhere along this side, as long as you attach the battery on that side, it would be fine. So here we have part A done. We have drawn our circuit gigantic on the board. We know some piece of information. We know the equivalent re or the terminal voltage is equal to 24.0 volts. And we know all of the resistors are equal to 2.00 ohms. We're trying to figure out a couple of things. We did the circuit diagram. The first thing we're going to figure out is the equivalent resistance of the circuit. In other words, if we take and replace all eight of these resistors with one resistor, what would that resistor be to give an equivalent resistance to what we have here? So we have, I don't know, where are we going to start? Where are we going to start? We need to look at this and identify two things that are either in series or in parallel or more. Um, so we could figure out the equivalent resistor 1, 2 is equal to what, you know? Um, if they're in series. R, or resistance one plus resistance the resistance of the 1 and 2, the sum of, because they're two resistors in series. Therefore, we have 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 ohms. Great. There's one other one that we can do before we redraw the circuit diagram. Who can tell me what that other one is? Um, your choice. R is six or is seven. R. Oh, um, they're in parallel. Or, uh, they're in series. <laughs> parallel or series, you're correct. They're in series. So resistors six and seven, we have resistor six plus resistor seven is again equal to two plus two equals four ohms. So now let's redraw the circuit diagram. I'm going to draw it smaller. Here we go. We have, instead of resistors one and two, we have a single resistor. Then we have resistor two, three. Then we have resistor four. All those are connected over here. Then we have resistor 5, we have resistor 6, 7, and resistor 8, and we have attached to the other battery. So this is equivalent resistor 1, 2, resistor 3, resistor 4, resistor 5, equivalent resistor 6, 7, and resistor 8, and our terminal voltage across the battery. Julian? Can I say that? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, 1, 2, and then the 3, and the 4, and the Therefore, the equivalent resistor 1, 2, 3, 4 is equal to what? 1 over 1, 2, uh, 2, wait, 1 over 2. 1 over what? 1 over 4. Ah, you're giving me numbers. I like variables. Oh, okay. Um, 1 over R, 1, 2. R? R. Plus 1, 2. R. Plus 1 over resistance 3. Plus 1 over resistance 4. Resistance 1, 2 was 4 plus resistance 3, which is 2, and resistance 4 is also 2 to the negative 1 power. Equivalent resistance 1, 2, 3, 4 is equal to? Please. Four fifths. I believe it does work out to be 4 fifths or 0 0.8 ohm. We can now redraw again our circuit diagram. We have the battery. We have equivalent resistor 1, 2, 3, 4. We then have resistor 5. 
we have resistor 6, 7, and then resistor 8. So we have resistor 1, 2, 3, 4, resistor 5, resistor 6, 7, and resistor 8, the potential difference across the battery the terminal voltage. Christine, what do you see next? Okay, so equivalent resistance one, two, three, four, five. Christine is going to be able to what? Um, well, resistor one, two, three, four, five, five. I need an equation, please. So one over. No, resistance one, two, three, four. So we're coming back to here. One, two, three, four, and five are in. Right. So they're in series. Therefore. Uh, resistance one, two, three, four. In series, they simply add. So we have one, two, resistance one, two, three, four was 0 0.8, resistance five is just two. So equivalent resistor one, two, three, four, five is equal to 2.8 ohms. Therefore, we have the potential difference across the battery. Uh, we have figured out equivalent resistor one, two, three, four, five, which is here. We have equivalent resistor six, seven, and then resistor eight. And we come back to the battery, potential difference across the battery. Equivalent resistor one, two, three, four, five, resistor six, seven, and resistor eight. Hoover, what next? We can combine uh, resistor one, two, three, four, five, and resistor six, seven. To get equivalent resistor one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, arc subscripts fun, which is equal to what, Hoover? Uh, one over R, one, two, R. resistance over one, two, three, four, five. One over resistor six seven. The resistance, the resistance of resistor six seven. So one over two point eight plus one over resistance six seven. Oh, which is just the four. So one over two point eight plus one fourth. The equivalent resistance one two three four five six seven is equal to zero point six two three. Zero point six two. I think you forgot the inverse. Then I don't know what you did, sorry. 1.647. Can I have two more? Zero five. Zero five. Does it end in five or does it round? So it ends in six. Okay. That is the resistance in ohms of equivalent resistor one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can now replace both of these with one. We have the battery, we have equivalent resistor one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a resistor eight and the battery. So this is resistor one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, resistor eight, and the electric potential difference across the battery. We are almost there. We can now figure out the equivalent resistance for us. How do we figure out the equivalent resistance of everything? We're down to this circuit diagram. Well, you would do the series equation, <clears throat> which is R, one, two, three, four, five, six. R. Oh, sorry. Sorry, the resistance of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus resistance of eight. So we have the 1.64706 plus two, or 3.64706 with sig figs, the equivalent resistance would be 3.65 ohms. In other words, if we were to replace all of those resistors with one resistor, it would have 3.65 ohms, and then we would get the same current coming from the battery.